Welcome to the longest video on my YouTube channel currently, Mega Man Unlimited Part 8, and it is every bit as long as this video looks. <laughs> it is 25 minutes and 59 seconds of me rambling into a microphone for the hell of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one was a bit tricky because I decided to basically do the rest of the bits that had to be um, dubbed over. <clears throat> kind of like what it is right here, so. Um, we've got 8 minutes and 50 seconds of me dying to stupid mistakes. And then completing two stages. Oddly enough, like, I want to say the third stage takes about 14 minutes, which is probably half this video, which is insane. As I didn't even die once in that stage, but I did play it carefully. And there's a mistake right there. <laughs> So, yeah. So, why am I including all of this footage? Um, well, if you want my honest answer, it's because I feel the playthrough would be incomplete had I not had this footage the way it is. You know, it's just how, it's just who I am. Like, when it comes to me doing Let's Plays on YouTube, sure, I may not have finished ones like the Yu-Gi-Oh! LP that's way old on my channel. But, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! LPs, they don't really finish that well unless it's sacred cards, I feel. Which I might do someday. Because <laughs> it's a part of my childhood, to be honest. But that's another, another topic for another time. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I feel like these series of videos would be incomplete had I not included all the deaths seen in the first 8 minutes 50 seconds of this. And, to be completely honest, I don't know, like... The problem with me in this playthrough and why it took so long to even get to this particular point, it was because Wily 1, Wily Stage 1 is like literally the cheapest stage in the game, I feel. I feel like it is literally the cheapest stage in Mega Man Unlimited. And it's mostly because, it's mostly due to a lot of factors, like the fact that you can lose 75% of your health in the beginning segment of a stage, which is really dumb. Uh, the fact that you can die and have to restart an entire segment, which will take 10 minutes to do again, to me is just ugh. And it's an extremely long stage, too. Like, if you guys ever played Stone Man stage from Mega Man 5, it feels that long. Only the difference there is that Stone Man stage wasn't brain... Only... The difference here between there is Stone Man stage is brain dead, like it's really easy compared to this, compared to like this game stages which are kind of hard. Um, yeah, but man, holy cow! And I get smart here and I use Rush J, and you're gonna see me do a lot of errors. I mean, a lot of errors. I mean, holy cow! But yeah, um, yeah, this is still a fun game. And I still like this game. Sure, I'm going to be burnt out on Mega Man for a little while, but... <laughs> I still love this series and I still love this game. Um, oh yeah, if you're wondering why I'm waiting to shoot those guys, it's because their blades will reflect the Yoku attack. And I still use Rush to here because I'm like, nope. Ah, I know why I did that. I must not have thought I, I wouldn't have made it. You know what I could have done though? I could have just avoided the. No, I can't avoid this guy because I'll die if I do. That's right. He's like. This is like. That's like the only section you actually have to kill that uh, one gorilla guy in. I can't remember any of the enemies' names in this game. It's terrible. But we'll learn them all in the final part. In the finale. Kind of funny how that affects that. But yeah. So yes, um, yeah, I like I said, I'm going to try and ramble for about 25 minutes about random stuff relating to Mega Man and such, and yeah, this game is fun, it's just, I really don't have anything to talk about, really, um, I guess I could just say that Mega Man Unlimited is definitely worth it, 
<laughs> Just beware of Wily Stage 1 and Rainbow Man Stage, because those are the only two stages I have real issues with. Like, really, I do. Those are the only two stages I have real issues with, is Wily Stage 1 and Rainbow Man Stage. Rainbow Man stage is because of the way it just works. Like, if you're gonna do that stage, make sure it's one of the last stages because his weapon in this game, honestly, it does not matter when you compare it to like Comet Dash, Yoku Attack. It just, it literally does not matter. Um, anybody saw, oh, Nitro Man stage isn't too bad either, but. You know, there's me experimenting like a foo. Like a foo. Uh, anyway, um. So yeah, Rainbow Man stage is mostly because of the instant death lasers that are everywhere, and if you're completely new to Mega Man, or rather this game, you will literally rage, probably rage quit in fact, at that stage. Uh, like I did constantly with Wily 1. And if anybody wants to see the Wily 1 failures, uh, leave, a, leave a comment below. And I will gladly get you uh, those outtakes and such, because I do have, st still have all that footage saved. I have not deleted it at all. I don't delete my footage, like my, my raw footage that I don't use for videos. Like, let me put you this way: all this footage, all this footage you are seeing right now, this actually happened live. Like, these are my only takes of this stage. I have no other takes because I just kept going that night. Like, if you want me to, like, here's the thing: I played this game that night. I think for 30 minutes straight. Oh, and I get stupid here. Okay, I barely make it. Um, like that night after I beat Wally One, I just kept going. Like I could have finished this playthrough that night, but then I went to check, and then I got so like, oh no, I forgot to hit record external audio. So yeah, all the all this it was originally supposed to have live commentary, but it didn't. What had happened is I hit the I have I disabled it for whatever reason. I have no idea why I disabled it. I think I disabled it was going to dub over part 1 because I was going to get so angry at Wily Stage 1. Then when I went to record, I had a great bullshit speech planned about like, oh, Wily 1 is complete bullshit compared to Wily 4 and all that other stuff. And yeah. It, it, was, it was fun, I guess. I'm not really sure, but... Yeah. And I am going to be drinking quite a bit in this video because... It's 25 minutes long. Like, you would expect this from a finale. No, not not this video, no. Not just a regular video. Watch me go nail shield here. And watch me just go. Because I actually... Uh, beat this stage. Not beat this stage, but beat it right here. And then we're at the half point. And there's your first 8 minutes. In 8 minutes and 5 seconds. I save because... I don't want to have to do that again. And I go into a transition because, yeah, let's be, let me put you this way. The transitions I use for videos are like, okay. Now nah, I'm just rambling. Um, I use the transi transition because this was all supposed to be live, but yeah. So yeah, nail shield at this part and in a lot of areas with bottomless pits like this is extremely good. Do, do not underestimate it. And I go jet missile because of this guy. And I haven't been giving out any kind of strategy, um... For this stage, and I apologize for that, and that's mostly because I, uh, eh, I don't know why it's not because, but and as you can see, this is like the most awkward thing I can do <laughs> is post commentary, which I will never do again. Um, I think I did that to show that they are unaffected by the Yoku attack. So the Yoku attack's not this awesome weapon. I use an E tank because I don't want to die and have to restart the stage. But yeah. Um there it is, clue shot. And you actually have to wait for that one to fade, which is it. And check it out. The only time you will probably ever see take Arsenal again in the Wily stages. <laughs> oh man, tank Arsenal. Why are you such a terrible, terrible, impractical weapon? Like the main damage it that happens with tank arsenal is from its bouncing is from its little ball that it shoots. The ball is the main reason why all the damage is there. And that's a troll path. And I get hit because I'm dumb. And I miss the up thing on the D-pad. Oh, there we go. I guess I like Yoku attack for some reason. 
I think I choose Nitro Blast here. Yeah, I do. I choose Nitro Blast to get through that because... Just to show that Nitro Blast can do it. But yeah, you need the tank arsenal here. And I, like, and I usually just... Oh, I see why. Okay. Full screen enemy one. But yeah, Tick Arsenal is pretty useless. Why don't we? Why don't I just talk about the weapons? See, in this part, I could have just like ran past this guy, but I choose to kill him instead. Why? I don't know. I could have just like dashed and jumped over him. So, if you haven't noticed by now, the Yoku attack is probably the best weapon in the game. My personal favorite weapon, anyways, because it's like it's um, it's an omnidirectional homing thing. It's basically one of the best weapons you could ever get in the Mega Man series. And I know it's going to draw a lot of comparisons to, like, Hornet Missile. But Hornet Missile doesn't have the power that Yoku Attack has. Like, Yoku Attack has more attack power than the Hornet Missile does. Like, it does this insane amount of damage. Like, watch this. Two shots, that guy's dead. And it probably would have been, like, three or four uses of the Hornet to kill those enemies, usually. Man, yeah, Mega Buster. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the stage here. Um, really, for the Wily stages, I guess if I w did want to give some strategy, take it easy on the Wily stages. Uh, be cautious, but not too cautious. And here we go. Oh boy. I start talking about strategies for the next boss, which is an octopus robot. And the octopus robot, quite honestly, is nowhere near as difficult as like the first boss. Like, you could probably kill him before he gets into the smash pattern. Unfortunately, he's not a very pattern-based boss. And I'll show exactly why in the next room. You're floating. There's the octopus squid thing. His weakness is the glue shot. And it's the most awkward weakness you can have in the game because glue has no adhesive features underwater. But then again, glue man's glue is supposed to be like a superheated glue. Well, I guess you can't. Now, you see where I jumped in that pattern? That's when you want to jump. Yeah, I use an E-Tank here again. But yeah. But honestly, watching the footage right now and realizing this, what he does, this guy's a cakewalk. <laughs> like, that guy looks like a cakewalk the more I watch it. Like, seriously, he's just, like, just stands there half the time and just pushes his thing out. Easy peasy. But anyway. With that stage done, we move on to Wily Stage 3. Wily Stage 3 is my personal favorite stage in this game, I think. Um, I may have said one of my other stages was my personal favorite. It's number 2, and this is number 1. Um, as I was playing this stage again, I just got like, ooh, yeah, this stage is fun. And this stage will rock your socks off if you don't know, um, what the main theme is. And, of course, time for a transition, because I was attempting to, uh, I was recording still, and I thought this was like commentary still, so yeah. Um, me shuffling magic cards in the background doesn't really help things in, in these videos, but yeah. Uh, needless to say, this is one of the best stages in the game, if not the best stage in the game, I feel. Simply because the stage is too fun, like, oh no, wait, I said Yoku Man's attack. Never mind, yeah. This is my second favorite stage, then. And the Nail Man stage is back. Some of Nail Man's enemies, some of Yo-Yo Man's enemies. But yeah, like, Wily 2 and Wily 3 are easily better than Wily 1. Like, Wily 1's just a chore. Because if I die in this stage, I do not feel like I am, like, simply stuck at a checkpoint where I have to work my way up there for about 10 minutes. Like, it takes me 10... If it's if it takes you more than 10 minutes to get to a checkpoint in a Mega Man game, and you're not having fun getting to, getting to said checkpoint, for me, that's just like, no. Oh, look! Gravity! That's right, folks. Gravity is by far the biggest thing in this game, and it's back. Like, how big is it? Well, this stage is entirely dedicated to the gimmick. Observe. Oh, yeah, and we got Battletoad stuff here. Yeah, we Battletoads now, son. Battletoads. I think I use Rush Jet here because I don't trust my jumping in this game yet. 
So yeah, um, Battletoads is literally the main theme of the game in this stage, and yeah, this stage looks really fun. It probably looks like a nightmare for everybody else. It's not. It's it's a really fun stage. I like it. Oh yeah, so now watch me screw up the timing of this shot. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you can actually die upside down. Also, your up and down controls are reversed, which you'll see here in a second. And I kept thinking I could, like, just, uh... Lock onto that guy, too. Oof. Ah, yes, tellies. Shield tellies, to be more precise. Um, when those tellies... When I saw the tellies had shields, I was like, Wow, these guys went all out in this game. On the difficulty scale. They, like, they like went all out, man. And the shield tellies, I felt, were really cool. So, yeah. Alright, here's the ladder part of... There's one part of the ladders I was talking about, where your controls were reversed. Um... So you have to press down to go up a ladder when your controls are reversed like this. I think in Mega Man 6, you didn't have to press down at all. I think you still only had to press up. Not Mega Man 6, Mega Man 5, where gravity gimmicks were first introduced. I think you still had to press up, but I'm not completely sure, because it's been a little while since I've played Mega Man 5. Uh, Yoku attack. You are almost as good as Metal Blade. Just kidding, you're better than Metal Blade. Ah, another... The only other time you will ever see me use Tank Arsenal. And I use... Come on. Get a blue shot. There we go. And I get an E-Tank. I got lucky right there. <laughs> okay, I didn't get lucky, but still. And I used Tank Arsenal one last time before we finally say goodbye to the weapon, I guess. Yeah, now you gotta kill this guy. Oh, pardon me. Do I really have to use Rush, rush Coil here? Nah. Alright, here we go. Time for more Battletoad segments. Oh, wait. That was just a tease. Hee <laughs> hee. Ooh, look at this. That will kill... That killed me so many times in my first playthrough. That area is nuts. Yeah, you really have to learn the ladder controls right there. Oh no, I think I died like one time in this stage. Oh no, I used an E-Tank so I don't die. But I think I still die anyways in the next room because I jump into a hole. Yep, I died. <laughs> I knew I died. I knew I had I knew I was gonna die on this stage somewhere in there. It was right there where I died. So yeah. Um, like I said, this stage is fun. I love it. The boss here is really cool, too. And I'm not going to spoil the boss, but if you've been watching YouTube playthroughs, you know who he is. So shush. Wow, oh, beast mode, suddenly. And then anti-beast mode. But then beast mode. Yep. Honestly, I'm running out of things to talk about. Um, some of you might be wondering why I haven't been talking about Mighty Number no. 9 on the channel too much, despite me being like a Mega Man fan. It's not that I don't dislike what Mighty Number no. 9 is doing. No, I love what it's doing. I really do. It's just, I don't feel it's appropriate for a Mega Man video to talk about Mighty Number no. 9. Sure, he's a spiritual successor to the Blue Bomber, but at the same time... 
It's just one of those things. I just don't like to talk about when I'm doing like post commentary and stuff. Maybe, maybe sometime I'll make a vlog or something talking about it. Because the game looks fun. Oh no! Come on, panic nail shield. There you go, panic nail shields. They always do wonders. Panic nail shield. And then we Yoku attack everything. Oh, here we go. Crazy's gravity segment. And they will haunt you. And stare at your soul. Or into your soul. Behold, the disappearing block segments of hell. Resurrected from Yoku Man's stage. Except they're not really hell this time. They're actually quite simple. Yeah. No, even if you didn't do Yoku Man stage, you're not getting away with not doing a disappearing block segment. Yoku Man stage was really fun. I could never really get mad at Yoku Man stage. And you can die right here too easily. As you can see right there with that little um, spark, not spark, but a spike block. And I screw up maybe like two or three times when doing this because, yeah. Ooh, I almost died. <laughs> almost dying is not a good thing. Almost dying is terrible. That was a horrible jump. Yeah, imagine having to do these upside down in a regular Mega Man game. <laughs> Everyone would probably lose their marbles. And you have to jump from that middle block right there. I have to figure out while doing these segments, but yes. See? Boom. And then we go. Oh, yay. That is a bottomless pit. Yeah, I go all the way to the left because I didn't know what they wanted. Like, I'd for completely forgotten what they'd wanted from me in this segment of the stage. I think I go... Yeah, I, Whoa. Oh, yeah, that happened mid-game. So, uh, that just randomly happened when I was just r playing the game, and it was like, oh, no. Frame drop, because frame drops. At least I can say Mega Man Unlimited did not crash in either of my playthroughs. So far, anyway. Watch it crash, like, tomorrow or something. Why don't I just use Nail Shield? Eh, whatever, I'm not gonna question it at this point. I was almost done with the stage, now I'm being like, ultra freaking... Uh, cautious. So I don't like, randomly die, or something. Yep, being ultra cautious so I don't die. Come on. There we go. Yoku attack is king. I have no idea why I went there. Oh, I know why. I'm trying to eliminate enemies before I get to them. Anyway. There we go. Short hop. Oh, this segment. So I died here the first time. As I was playing through this game. And now you can take full jumps. Just ignore the enemies. Traps lol. Almost at the end. And at the end of this video. There, just keep going. Ignore him. Just call Coil. Or that works. <laughs> that works. Alright. So we're on to quite possibly the most iconic boss fight in this game. And I jump in joy of making it like through my second try. And then I talk about the boss a little bit. And I have more than enough weapon energy for the boss. So it's time to enter the gate and face someone we've seen. Oh, hi, Mega Man. Proto Man. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, your brother is getting sloppy. 
Yeah. Yeah, Mega Man, um, that probably won't do you any good. But, near me, arg. That's where you literally start from in the room, and this is the Proto Man boss fight. Yoku attack, Yoku attack, oddly enough, is his weakness. Because you're fighting a shadow of Mega Man, and you're fighting a shadow of Proto Man, I guess, when he's enraged by the virus. Where his power goes beyond maximum. And he's pretty easy. Um, slide under when he does his jump shots. Keep abusing the Yoku shot if you have it. If you don't have it, you could probably win by just using the Mega Buster and timing your shots right. Just be warned, Proto Man's shield will block everything. And with that, we have reached the final level when we will be going back to live commentary. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a comment, thumbs up, maybe a subscription if you would like. And I will see you next time at part 9. Adios.